Welcome back. You're watching Business 360. Here's a quick recap of our top stories. Sensex and Nifty end with marginal losses after a range-bound session. Mid-caps outperform with the index gaining nearly 200 points. Rupee gains marginal strength against the dollar but remains close to the 80 mark. Europeans buy more in one afternoon than I do in a quarter. <laughs> I'd be surprised if that is not the condition still. But yes, we will buy from Russia. We'll buy from wherever. Petroleum Minister Hardeep Puri says India will carefully assess whether to support a proposal by G7 nations to impose a price cap on Russian oil. Adds that he has no moral conflict with buying Russian oil despite their Ukraine invasion. Says he has a moral duty to the Indian consumer. Large parts of Bengaluru remain inundated with flood waters as heavy downpour leaves many without electricity and drinking water. A 23-year-old woman dies of electrocution on a waterlogged road. Karnataka's chief minister blames previous governments and says the rainfall was at its highest in 90 years. Government and LIC may offer to sell 60% stake in IDBI banks. Sources say due diligence from RBI is being sought at every stage of the transaction. Bids likely to be invited this month or in October. That's an exclusive. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman and Steel Ministry officials review the export duties imposed on steel and iron ore. Sources say government is examining a proposal for a calibrated reduction of steel duties, but the taxes on iron ore are likely to stay. Revenue Department yet to take a final decision. Insurance regulator wants policies to be sold in the DMAT form like stocks and mutual funds. IRDAI gets into a huddle with the industry on making dematerialization mandatory for insurance policies. That's an exclusive. The Aviation Ministry writes to the Finance Ministry seeking a higher loan limit for airlines under the Emergency Credit Guarantee Scheme wants additional loans of up to 100% of their outstanding credit instead of the current 50% limit. Drug Controller General of India grants emergency use authorization for Bharat Biotech's nasal COVID vaccine. The vaccine can be administered on those above the age of 18. Former Tata Sons Chairman Cyrus Mistry's body was cremated in Mumbai today. Mistry died in a car crash on Sunday. Top business leaders and politicians attend last rites. Prime Minister Modi and his Bangladeshi counterpart Sheikh Hasina signed seven memorandums of understanding related to water sharing, railways, space, science and judiciary. Sheikh Hasina is on a four-day official visit to India. And well, with that, it's a wrap on this edition of Business 360. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned to CNBC TV 18. The news continues on the other side.